Many people have a craft that they've spent years doing, but one Bark River man has a unique trade that he's perfected over the last 53 years. George Potvin retired from the paper mill in Escanaba a few years ago and is now a full-time blacksmith. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Yona Gavino has his story up close. The temperatures in this forge can reach between 1,600 and 1,800 degrees. The blower being turned forces air into the fire to help burn the coal. It may seem easy, and it is, to George Potvin, a self-taught blacksmith. I always was doing this full-time for a long time, and uh, it just I was more or less like doing two jobs, I guess. And uh, then when I retired, I just went into this full-time. This iron door knocker is just one of many of George Potvin's made-to-order pieces. And pieces like this make it into his wife's gift shop, which is just next door. It's called the Ten Mile Creek Forge Pottery Lighting and Gifts. Like any business, it's affected by the economy. Maureen Potvin said last year was the worst year by far. But business picks back up as the temperatures drop. But I still think, you know, fall colors and everything, it'd be a beautiful ride to come out here and do some Christmas shopping. Or just shopping for yourself. <laughs> a popular seller are Potvin's handmade knives. But what keeps him forging away? And of course, I do have a lot of... Um, I get a lot of joy out of making the piece. I don't want to ever stop making stuff. I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can do it. Potvin is also sharing the art with others by offering one-day blacksmithing classes where folks can learn basic techniques like hammer control, punching, and bending. Yona Govino, TV6 News, Bark River.